What's up, family? This is your girl, Aqua Goddess, coming to give you all your general reading. I hope that you all are having a beautiful day today. Please keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in getting a personal reading with, from me, uh, donating to the channel, purchasing any artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of that information will be in our description box below. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Please don't be shy. Join a family. I would love to have you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for your future notifications. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your love and support. I truly, truly appreciate it. Now let's go ahead and tap right in. I've already prayed and meditated over your energy. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guys, most high, please protect me and my collective as I channel the messages for the sign of Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Please return all negative energy back to sender, 20 million fold. And anyone out there showing me love, much love and light to you. All right, so we have somebody being dishonest or a dishonest situation. Could have something to do with a Libra. I'm also seeing that uh, somebody wants you, somebody wants to get you pregnant so you can be a family with them for forever because they were dishonest about somebody they creep with and now you don't want anything to do with them. They feel like this person, this side chick or this side guy was never even worth it. And now this person is doing sex magic to bring you back into their energy. So you may find yourself thinking about this person. It could be quite some time since you spoke to him. But I do know one thing. Um, this person is trying to draw you back in. They've been getting spiritual advice about the relationship or the breakup. So they can figure out how to fix things. How to reconcile. This could have something to do with the cancer energy. I'm seeing that someone is building their own business right now. There's a creative idea, something that they want to bring into life. And I see that they're focusing diligently on this goal. This person may be asking mutual friends about you. Definitely asking their friends for advice in regards to this connection. For some of them, it's kind of weird because these are the same friends that they talked about you to. Now they're asking them for advice. For a lot of you, th these people are really ashamed of that because it's like they made it seem as though they were over you. You know, like they didn't want this connection anymore. They went venting to everybody but you about the problems that you guys experienced in this connection. Now they're asking for advice. You can't make this up. Phone call or message. So this person is calling people. Um, you know, getting advice, whatever the case may be. Also, for some of you all, you may receive a phone call or a message. And it doesn't even have to be directly from this person. It could be from one of their friends. Telling you that they're asking about you. This person tried to outsmart you with somebody that can't even compare to you. The person that they left this connection for or betrayed this connection for. Like that person can't compete where they don't compare. They have nothing on you. And this is the reason why this person is pulling your energy back in. They wish they never met you because now they're drinking a lot trying to get over this disconnect. They feel like they lost a part of themselves when you stop talking to them. And it's like they almost wish they never met you. Because you left such a, a huge imprint on this person's heart. That they can never forget about you. That's why you got love spell here. This person is thinking about how they could have been on this journey with you. Building a business with you. Building a foundation with you. Now they're just stuck in their thoughts. Yeah. This person is extremely stuck in their thoughts. Because of your level up. For some of you guys, it could be an Aries. I see an unexpected event though. Um, this situation, I think with this person stepping outside on this connection. This was something that you never expected. And now you're waiting for new love. 
I feel like a lot of you guys are in disbelief uh, by the energy that this person gave you. Um, I'm also saying this, that this is someone that you may have had quite a few drunk sex episodes with. And they may have met someone with your same zodiac sign or even for some of you guys, your same exact birthday, which is even weirder. This person can't stop touching themselves when they think about you. Nobody has ever touched them the way that you did. This person that they talking to right now can't compare. Wedge, third party, yeah. Somebody came and interfered with this connection, but your person entertained them. So it's like, who can you really blame? Your person, you know what I'm saying? Like, for this player energy. And for being a catfish. For a lot of you guys, I feel like this person was very sweet and very charming. But they play with your heart. You know, this is somebody who romance for money or for whatever. They just wear a mask. So if this is a feminine energy, she can come off as very kind, submissive, very reserved, you know, very loyal, and then behind closed doors be sneaky the whole time. If this is a masculine energy, comes off as kind of like a homebody, a family man, but got some old side pieces on the side. See, this is the reason why it didn't work out in this person's favor. Yeah, it didn't work out in this person's favor at all. Because they were trying to take you through cycles. You may have even forgiven this person one time or two, right? But it's time to break the cycle. Because I feel like a lot of you guys are just way too generous to this person. To even be in this type of situation where you have to question their loyalty. Yeah, so it's like you're in this position. You were before you actually moved along. Because I feel like a lot of you guys moved along. You know, it's like this should I stay or should I go energy. But it's like I see you made up your mind, you know. And it's crazy because whoever they kicked it with you for, with or on, whatever the case may be. This person is wondering if they should stay or go in that situation. Because they can't stop thinking about you. For some of y'all, it was an Aries. Uh-huh. This person, like this person that they just met or that they cheated with, they don't put in no work for your person. Like your person literally trying to get you back or they're waiting for new love, either or. They're not moving forward in this connection successfully at all with this new person. So it was really a waste of time and energy and a waste of a whole great commitment to even branch out. I don't know what they thought that they was going to explore out there, but the grass was not greener on the other side, my loves. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. That's why this person doing sex magic and love spells. Looking to the outside for help. Yeah, this person wanted to be a player. Now they're looking to the outside for help because they know they lost the best thing that ever happened to them when they lost you. Yeah. Now this person's thinking about even hurting themselves for some of you guys. Or they're going to contact you and threaten to hurt themselves if you don't give them another opportunity. This is who we're dealing with, a shapeshifter. This person transforms, you know, like I said... They could present this loyal energy at some point. They could present this trustworthy energy at some point. But then you find yourself going in a cycle with this person for being a catfish or a player. And it's just like you don't know who they are. You can't even identify this person at this point. You know, you don't. You. It's like you didn't know, but you thought you knew this person. And you found out just through your discernment that you didn't know this person. Because I don't feel like they ever really truly admitted anything to you. You know, this person was scarce when it comes to being authentic. And I see you dealt with some things probably because of history or because you love this person. But I see you waking up. I see you waking up. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Alright, so Spirit, tell me what energy this person is currently in that's thinking about messaging my collective. Love triangle, confirmation, stalker, so this person's been watching you. And they're thinking about emotionally manipulating you. Coming half solid, half shallow still. This person just want to bother you and get on your nerves because you're not paying them any mind or attention. Oh, yeah. 
Absolutely. They wondering if you met somebody else by now. And this is what really got this person mind boggled. You know, this person's very lovesick. They're thinking about what they caused. It ain't nothing like being in a situation where you are the problem. You know, and this person understanding that they were the problem. So they're trying to come in and figure out like how to go about things, give you another dirty offer because this person, like I said, is half shallow, half solid. They're going to be just enough solid enough to emotionally manipulate you and then probably ghost you again going back to this other person. Yeah, it's going to be one of them situations. Where it's like they see you leveling up. They want to be a part of it. You can have a lot of history with this person. Whatever the case may be. And they're hunted by the fact that you don't want anything to do with them. Because you don't trust them anymore. They can't find nothing on you because you're an authentic person. You're not a groupie. So all this person can do to, is go to bogus healers. Watch tarot in regards to you. Spy on you. And then try to come, come and manipulate you. Yeah. Because they can't get out their head. For some of you, this person might even be in jail and need your help right now. You might be getting a call from jail from a couple, for a couple of you guys. Yeah. But this person don't like the fact that you're so tapped in. Because it's a lot of that stuff that they would have never admitted to you if you wouldn't have just figured it out on your own. They would have never said anything about it. But you figured it out on your own. And then it's like, if they did tell you... It was after you already extremely suspected it. After they already halfway got caught where they couldn't even make up nothing for it. You know, like one of those energies. But they tried to outsmart you. That was the intentions. And it didn't work. Missed opportunity. Yeah, Virgo Tours Capricorn. This person wanted to be a player, outsmart you. It didn't work. And then it's like whoever they tried to outsmart you for, it wasn't even worth the risk. At least, at least, come on, man. At least step your game up. Don't move backwards, man. It's already bad enough you cheating. Then you're going to move backwards to a whack energy? Like, what's wrong with them? Dreams are not coming true over that bad boy. You can guarantee that and that's for sure because they dealing with somebody who is completely bad news somebody who don't even believe in themselves so there is no way that they can even believe in your your person yeah this is somebody who is not a good leader you know they don't know how to lead anything this person is distracted by outside energy so it's like they really just Want to come and offer you this this cup of love. This person still spying on you, man. When I tell you they can't get over what they did. They can't stop beating themselves up. They can't even sleep at night. They try. Like, they try. But it's like, once you let this bird and go. And you started going within. And you leveled up. It's time to come back. This person want to come back. They want to renew this. Ace of Swords. That's the truth. They want to reinvest in this connection. Yeah, this person has become obsessed with you. Overwhelmed, very insecure because they know you're a good catch. They know somebody would love to be in your energy. And this is why they overwhelmed by what they put themselves into. They're exhausted. They can't, like, they're burnt out on this situation for real. Because this person that they're talking to is lazy. When I say lazy, I mean they pulling all the weight in this connection. And you was at least the type of person that would match their energy or for some of you even take care of things for them. This person ain't got nothing on you. 